Well, good evening. Welcome to our service of Compline. The image before you is Maximilian Kolbe, another of my great heroes. I'm just going to give one moment to uh, do something and I'll be with you. So Maximilian Kolbe, born in Poland, he trained for ordination in 1907, kept a Franciscan, but uh, basically after the Nazi invasion of Poland, Kolbe was arrested as an intellectual, taken to Auschwitz. There he continued in his priestly ministry, celebrating the Eucharist in secret. And after an escape, ten prisoners were chosen to forfeit their lives, and Colbe stepped forward to take the place of one of them, who went on to survive the camp. They were starved for some two weeks before Colbe was injected with poison and died on this day in 1941. A man who looked at another man with children and a family and knew that his Redeemer lived and he took the place of that man as Jesus took the place for us. An absolutely amazing man, a man I honour and pray about so often. So good to see people that when the challenge comes they do the job. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we pause for a moment and think of the things that we need to bring before the Lord as we confess our failings this day. And bringing together all that has been this day, we pray, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 4 
Answer me when I called, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us, for you have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah 30 verse 15 Thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be saved, in quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Father, as night falls, as day ends, we come before you with gratitude for the day in which we have blessed others and in which we have undoubtedly been blessed. The day in which we've had an opportunity to see your love made flesh in others and to be that love to them. We bring before you now those we know who need touch from you in body, mind and spirit. We pray for friends and families, for places and situations where situation and circumstance, where iniquity and wickedness mar your image, destroy all that this world should be. And as we look at Maximilian Kolbe, a man who, like St Alban, gave his life that another might walk free, we come before you with thanks that Jesus gave his life that we might walk free from the power of sin. We thank you for the love of the Father made flesh and the power of the Spirit enabling us and inspiring us to pray this night. So let us pray.
Lord, may your light shine in the darkness of the lives of those who are broken, in need, ill, for those who face death and those who walk with them, soon to mourn. We thank you for new life for our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, for nieces and nephews and for the family that is the church. As we go to our beds, we pray, O oh Lord, that you would be present with us and all creation, and that you would protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that all who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness, made real for us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thanks for being with us this evening, guys. Sleep well. Catch you tomorrow. Good night. God bless you.